except for that one. Damn it. Alright, let's go down this cave and check it out. Lots of cobble, need coal, need uh, iron, redstone, whatever I can find, really. It's all necessary, eventually. Hmm, I know there was iron around here that I did not pick up. I'm just grabbing some cobble here and there so that I can move about easier, but also so that I can you know, have some more, because I don't have any, really. Not a lot. Not enough. You know me, I need all the cobble. All of it. Give me all of the cobble. IN THE WORLD! This, like, leads under my house. Probably directly underneath my house right now. There's a bunch of cave system running around. Yeah, I'm underneath my sheep pen right now. Actually, I'm gonna leave that cobble there just so that I know. where the sheep pen is. Put like a torch there. Alright, so there's nothing over here. Alright, let's go this way. Keep a lookout for iron, coal, lapis, gold, redstone, anything, really. Taking all ores now. TAKING ALL ORES! Uh, here we go. There's a D- WHOA! There's a big-ass open chamber that I have not been in yet. Alright, so we're gonna mark this as the way out. That is the exit. That's what those two torches up and down mean. That means there's an exit over here. Or at least, like, if I come into a four-way stop, this is the way back. Notice I always put them on the right side of the wall. So that when I want to leave, I just follow the ones on the left side. And it takes me back. It's a good habit to get yourself into. And now I know that I'm not leaving the iron there. I just want to see what's over here. If I need a tw if I n absolutely need light but can't put it on a wall, I just put it on the floor. That usually means that you know it's a big area and still needs light but can't find a good wall to put it on. And just put it on the floor. All right, that was some good iron right there. All right, we got a three-way stop here. This is kind of a nice little room here, like a chamber. I wonder what, where I would end up if I dug straight up. Yeah, you know, I am super curious about that. I am gonna do that. I'm gonna see where exactly I, this chamber is underground. Now, it's always a bad idea to dig straight up, but it's very unlikely that there's anything up there, so I'm gonna risk it. Oh, wow. I'm gonna put a torch here saying that's the way back down. Huh. I wonder if this leads down and around to where I was. There's sand here. This probably leads underwater. Mm. 
trying to get this coal. Oops, I didn't need to use that. Water's really annoying, but hey, there's coal literally right here in a big pile, so I might as well get it. Oh, they got sandstone here, too. Usually sandstone means there's sand directly above it. Possibly water. Hmm, where does this lead? I'm curious if this leads back down to where I already was. It does. Let's jump down here and see where this goes. Oh, okay, this goes up. See, I didn't even look up there and see this. Now, if I follow these on the left, I'll know how to get back here. If I had gravel, I'd put gravel there. Alright, I'm gonna build, like, a stairway up to there. Because I want to be able to get back up there. Without having to pillar up every time. Hmm, I wonder what's in there. Nothing. Alright, alright. Um... the area that had the water. Oh, that was a mistake. Mistakes were made! Alright, so... This is one way out, and... Ooh, there's iron up here. I just love the random beauty of this game, you know? Like, the fact that just random shit gets generated, and you never know what you're gonna find. Like, you never have any clue what you're gonna come up against. There could be caverns, ravines, you know, like... Crazy spawners and dungeons, and just random shit all the time. You never have any clue what you're going to find. I found ravines within ravines and caves within caves. Just rivers, underground rivers. Whoa. I don't know what's down there, but I'd kind of rather not find out right now. But torch, meaning that there's something down there. Alright, so... I'm just gonna grab more iron, because the more the better. While I'm down here, I might want to build a furnace and just cook some of this and make some more armor, because that's a huge priority right now. Hmm, sandstone. Stuff... Whoa! I think I might be underwater now. Yeah, I'm underwater. You know what, let's see where this leads. I'm curious. Let's, uh... Am I really deep? Holy shit! Let's try to get to the surface, get to the surface, get to the surface. Oh, wow. Okay. Probably shouldn't have broke up this beach. But hey, I'm like right by my house. There's a massive cavern system like literally under my house. Screw you creepers, I don't want to deal with you. Well, hell, 
since I'm here, I might as well cash in. Just because it's convenient to do so. I'll get this thing. Oh, shit! Oh my god, so many mobs! Well, they're fighting each other now. Alright, where's the food? I need food. They're like killing each other. I'm just gonna regenerate for a second. While they face off with a Mexican skeleton standoff. Generate some health here. Huh, I can't believe they don't see me. <laughs> Just regenerate my health. Regenerate my health. Gotta regenerate my health. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Leroy! Jenkins. <coughs> gotcha. What the hell is that over there? Oh, those are flowers. See anything out here? Wow, this is almost all done. I know I shouldn't be out here at night. I never, never should be out here at night. It's always a bad idea, it always gets you killed. Farming is never a good idea. I should build another greenhouse like in my other series. Whoa, what the hell? Is that a creeper explosion? I don't remember that being there. Oh yeah, I died over there before. I should probably fill that up. Now, one cool thing about filling dirt in is you can leave spaces, and it doesn't matter. As long as you don't leave enough space for, like, a monster to spawn, it doesn't really matter. Ah, oh, shit. I ran out of dirt. I'll fill it in later. It's not important. I got like a ton of sugar cane going here. No, I can plant some more. Why not? Why the hell not? As long as there's sand, you can plant as much as you want. Sand near water is all that is required. I could even put down more sand and plant more. I'm getting a ton of this stuff, though. Right, pretty soon I'll have more than I'll ever need. Make some paper. Why the hell not? Woo! Still kind of annoyed that you can't write on the paper, but... I know you can write on books, but why can't you write on paper? Doesn't make any sense to me at all. Alright, I got a ton of seeds, so if I get some chickens, I can breed the shit out of them. That sounded wrong. Do not need these snowballs. I don't know what I'll ever 
do with snow blocks. Maybe I'll make a snowman or something. Whatever. Who cares? For right now, all I know is that I spent the time digging that shit up, so I might as well keep it. Alright, what do I got here? I got 14 iron, 19 coal, gunpowder, wheat. I'll make some more bread. And I got 18 bread. I'm going to put half of that in here, though, just in case I die. Let's see, sapling. Ooh, oak saplings. Now that could be important. Oak wood. That I didn't have before. Uh, sandstone I did not have before. Spider eyes. Yes, I'm saving the spider eyes. Hey, I might need them for potions eventually. They take forever to gather up, so I'm not going to go farm them when I need them. I'm just going to keep them for now and... over here. I need to start separating some of the stuff into different chests because I don't really have a lot of room. Uh, I'm going to put my like stuff that's plant oriented in this other one at the bottom I guess. cut leaves so that counts. Uh, that's a hoe so it counts. Um, technically this is made out of a plant. I'm gonna put the string in there too. It's not made of plants, but it's made of a living creature, and all the l stuff from living creatures, basically, is what I want in a separate chest. Living creatures like plants, living creatures like animals, uh, and any uh, bones technically count. Shears can cut leaves, so that counts. Hose are for farming, that counts. String from spiders. Rotten flesh from zombies. There, most of the stuff is drops from killing stuff. Rotten flesh from zombies, spiders, skeletons, uh, squids, spiders. I don't know. I just... My organization is probably completely insane, but it works for me. Do I need more torches? Not really. Alright, I got this iron cooked, so let's make some more armor. I need more armor. Make a helmet. And some boots. Armor is a very high priority. Oh, yeah. Shink! There we go. Now I look awesome. Alright, so let's take a look here. Yeah. Now I look like the Lord of my own manner. Hmm. Sweet. Now I'm fully armored up. I could use some diamond armor, but, you know. This is good enough for now. Alright, what else could I use? I could use another bucket. Two buckets is usually all you'll ever need. You know, I like one for lava, one for lava, one for water, or... You know, two for water, depending on what you're doing with it. I go 
gonna fill this with water. Good, it didn't screw it up. Glad. I'm gonna put, put this in here. I don't need two of them with me at all times. Uh, I could probably make another sword. Iron backup sword. I don't need a stone sword. Alright, I really need more wood, but I'm not going to do that right now. Time to go back in the cave. I'm going to dump this coal in here so that if I die, I won't lose it. Because the whole point of me going there was to have the coal. And... Alright, let's go back. Hopefully I'll have a ton of episodes of this waiting to go for everybody to watch. Let's go back in this cave and see what happens down here. that way already. Let's go this way. There's no telling what I'll find down here. Actually, I kind of want this... Oh, crap. I kind of want to fill this in a little bit, just because it's... I'm probably going to be coming down here a lot, and that's big hole there is in my way. 